What is going on guys? My name is Shadowface. Welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's 3 video. We are here on the Steam community page. Link in the description below so you guys can check this out for yourselves. And while you're there, why don't you leave a little bit of a thumbs up so you can get this game greenlit so Scott can have it on Steam. Anyway, we are here with Docus Games. Hello. Say hi. Yep. And uh, we're going to be talking about the description of the third game. So what Scott leaves in the uh, information section or the description section. Uh, of the third game's Steam community page. Very, very detailed indeed. Lots of information. Um, for just a short passage, but I'll read it out to you guys as well. Um, 30 years after Freddy Fazbear's Pizza closed its doors, the events that took place there have been become nothing more than a rumour and a childhood memory. But the owners of Fazbear's Fright, the horror attraction, are determined to revive the legend and make the experience as, as authentic as possible for, for Patrons, going to great lengths to find anything that might have survived decades of neglect and ruin. At first, there were only empty shells, a hand, a hook, an old paper plate doll, but then a remarkable discovery was made. Dot, dot, dot. The attraction now has one animatronic. Yeah, so, details. Like, a lot of stuff people can take from this. A lot of theories can be formed from this. But, um, it says 30 years later. It does say that. And it says, after Freddy Fazbear's Pizza closed its doors, which was the, f uh, the first game. Um, so, using the whole, like, system where you find the minimum wage of the hours you worked. And then you calculate it and find the minimum wage for, um, America in like 19 it adds up to like 1993 92 or something like that yeah 92 yeah yeah so if it's after uh, Freddy Fazbear's pizza and not pizzeria like the second game I believe um, the first it's after the first game so it's gonna be taking place in 2022 2023 something like, something around there uh, so that's that's gonna be kind of interesting which also kind of brings up a couple of questions um, at first, for people at least, uh, why does a place look so run down? And my simple answer for that is it is a horror attraction, like it does also say in the description. It's a horror attraction, so people took the whole idea that the, of the murders and whatnot and how the whole events of the murders went down in the old uh, locations, and uh, they took that and they decided to make it into its own little thing to make a profit out of, off of the story um, and made it into a horror attraction. If you guys know what a horror attraction is, it's like... It's kind of like a haunted house sort of thing. They have a house. They they put a bunch of decorations around, make make it all creepy and whatnot. Hire actresses and actors to um, you know, jump out and pop out and scare you while you walk through a house, and then you get through, and it was it's just for fun. So that's what they tried to make it into, and that's why it's not so technologically advanced and whatnot. Um, so just throwing that out there so you guys know. Yeah. Also, um, it just goes on to say going to great lengths to find anything that might have survived decades of neglect and ruin. So, um, all of the um, old stuff is back in, everything old, if you've seen the trailer, all the toy animatronics are in the box, and that I'll go on to that in a minute. Um, it says, at first, empty shells, a hand, which we saw from the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's free trailer, the recent one, a hand, which is Bonnie's hand, a hook, which is Foxy's, an old paper plate doll, so Scott has called this paper plate Easter egg a paper plate doll now, so... I don't know what that's on about, but, um, yeah. And then it says, a remarkable discovery was made. Now, you could actually think about this as being connected with the next sentence because he's used dot, dot, dot. He hasn't finished the sentence. Then it says, the attraction now has only one animatronic. So, we were thinking, me and Shadow, that this discovery was an animatronic. And the animatronic could be uh, Golden Bonnie. All this stuff about Golden Bonnie, we can see it all twitching all over the, over the place. It's glitched. It's an animatronic. Um, so we were thinking that um, the owners of this attraction have made a remarkable discovery and they have found this uh, Golden Bonnie costume. Yeah, and it's, it's I don't know. It'd be a little bit weird for like it's a fine a, a the Bonnie costume. Yeah, but it definitely could be like something that could happen. You know, it, it does say that. A remarkable discovery was made and it did say they would go f to great lengths to uh to see if they could find anything like that so maybe it was something from way 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 back then and they yeah. just came 
came across from it by looking through like the old locations or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it could be and, hidden. It, it could have been hidden as well. So, yeah, and by its by its uh, super glitchiness, uh, I guess you, like I guess you'd say like it's, it's glitchiness in the uh, trailer. Uh, it definitely seems like its software is very, 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 very out of date. And, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. So it's not operating correctly. So that could definitely be a possibility as well. Yeah, but that seems to be the only things we can see from this. But it does give a massive amount of information. We now we now know that it's not going to be another pizzeria, which is a complete change. It's actually completely changed from a pizzeria to a, a horror attraction, which I did not expect whatsoever. Yeah, me either. And I, I actually think it's going to be really cool now that it's going to be a, a horror attraction because uh, what that means is that it's actually the place is supposed to be meant to be, you know, it's it's meant to be scary in the first place, you know, because it's supposed to be a horror attraction, right? But then, you know, take it, you're the night shift worker or the night guard or whatever. It's going to be even scarier because like. At first, you know, you're you're put in an environment that's supposed to be kid friendly and whatnot. It's yeah. a little rundown. What I looks cr pretty creepy at night. But now you're taking that character or you, the player, and putting him in a location that's meant to be very, very creepy, as well as have these really creepy animatronic dolls and animatronics walking around and trying to kill you. It's gonna make the game twice as more scary. Yeah. Yeah, and there's also um, some that we're gonna talk about later on, you know, in in the future. But um. Uh, it, it definitely, I don't know, it, it, it definitely, with the whole camera things and whatnot, uh, it looks a little bit more blurry, which could also creep you out a little bit more, but other than that, that's about it. That's about it. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. The description was pretty cool to read. Um, now we know that it's a, uh, it is a horror attraction, which is pretty cool. Um, it's gonna be very scary, I think. It's yeah. definitely gonna be scary. And that's about all I have. Do you have, do you want to do you want to cover anything else? No, that's I think that's all we can get from the description, I think. All right, guys. So, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe to both of our channels. Doctors will be in the description so you guys can click his link and then go subscribe to him and check him out. Um, so leave a like on the video. Subscribe to both of us if you are new to the channel. Also, further or probably the first link in the description to be honest is this page exactly the steam community page where you guys can go and upvote scott's game to be greenlit so it can be or to be greenlit not greenlit <laughs> to be greenlit so it can be on steam and uh it'll, it'll be a fun time for everybody it'll also really help scott out support him it'll be absolutely awesome and uh yeah that's about it so i'm taking it off you guys take care and as always have a great day bye